Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. This is the third video of this Power App Code Review Tool series. In the previous two videos, we have done the installation, and in the second video, we have done the configuration. So, in the configuration video, you might have noticed like we were not able to run the application. So, I downloaded the updated version of this code review tool from the GitHub and make it run. So in this video, we'll see how we can use that code review tool in order to do the analysis of our application. So without wasting your time, I'm just taking you to my screen. So here we have this power review solution. In review solution, we have noticed two applications. One is the code review admin where the admin members can add all the rules that needs to be followed all the parameters or the checklist that needs to be checked for an application to get reviewed and the another one is the canvas application power app review tool this is a front end for the users through which they can submit their review request okay so let me just play it let's come to this side and play this application okay so i have already done some reviews so i'll do the fresh review for you if you remember in the last video we have added some patterns in the admin ad, in the admin tool let me just show you first what are those patterns patterns are nothing it's just type of a checklist that needs to be checked on any application to get the review so if i go with the patterns i i have two patterns coding standard and the performance and i have one customer class c okay now coming back to my canvas application and this is actually the front end from where the users can submit their application review request so just go to the plus new and here you can check it will ask you some details like the name let's say uh, best review phone you can use any name the customer you need to select the customer so i'm just selecting customer as my classy and here i can add any select any application so i'll select this one okay and then here from i can submit the application zip file or the solution zip file okay so let me just check whether i have any solution file or not in my system maybe i should have under downloads yes i have one solution file here so i'll try with not with this one let's search for my front and i have an app front and app okay and i can also upload my msp file you know how to download the msp file it's like you need to open the application in the editor mode and therefrom you need to click on the save as so it would download the msapp file to your local system okay so let's upload it uh front end already selected okay yeah this is already selected here i guess i need to change some resolutions because i can't see the whole apps okay so i select my front end app and then click on the submit button once i click on the submit button i can see this one test four and the name the time and the details and the status okay so meanwhile like it will take a little time to get, get it reviewed okay so we'll show you how it will look once the review will be done we'll go with the review to the any existing one and here we can check the front end is the canvas app the score it has a scored as 100 percent and inside this the front end and then we click on the review one more time and here i can check the checklist remember these are the same checklist that we have added inside our admin inside our admin application here 
so i can check this checklist and i got the status as success for these two and here i can also check this app checker result overview code reviewer and the code review results okay so here you can check all the details of of your components with which are involved in your application okay if i show you the code yes uh -uh, it's a little faster code so here you can see it will give me all the codes which are there in my app in my system in my, in my application okay and if i come back to my checklist review checklist i got these two checklists if i just want this checklist performance checklist to get filled so i can just go inside this and here i can add some command and i can see that drop down is passed i can make it as false fail as well once i click on this fail i need not to do anything and it automatically will be failed okay i can come back and after some time it will take a little time to get uh, reflect the percentage of this per of this checklist and it will give the results in this one like right now i have 100 percent, but as i make this as fail so after some time it would be around 50 percent okay so that is how we can use this application like there are so many functionalities that is also there like you can add the resources you can add the rules that needs to be checked on the application so many things are there the more you explore the more you get okay so just for the basic knowledge of you i, ju I just shared these things okay so that is all in this video everyone so thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions in the in the installation and while playing the application if you are thinking that your application is not playing you can just contact to me okay and i would recommend you to just go through with this application and try to check all the application which is running in your environments through this application okay so thank you everyone thank you have a nice day